What's up guys, this is Faux Editing here. This is a tutorial on how to use the Auto Trace in Adobe After Effects. The version I'm using now is um, CS5. And this is a little preview of where I've used it in a previous video. Right, to get started, usually you'd use it say in, if you've uh, either got a still image or you've used say Twixter and you've slowed the video down like so far I've already set up a, um, a frame which I've picked and I've frozen it at that frame just so I'll show you what to do but you can do this on videos and such like that if you slow down Twixter but this is just showing you how to um, make the effect so first of all if we just go to about one second and then there we go. You just want to click on your video. You want to go layer, auto trace, and these settings that I use is that come frame, luminance, tolerance 56, threshold 49, minimum uh, minimum area 19 pixels, and the corner roundness to none. And then it's applied to a new layer with the preview selected, and it basically brings out these lines, and it tracks certain features on the video. Um, these are the sets I use because it's not too much and not too little. But you can also you can go adjusting all this stuff, just changing it. But you know, so I don't like the look of that. Anyway, I'll leave it at this, and then you just want to click OK, and then it creates a new solid layer. So far we've just got all this stupid white shapes which is uh, not good, not, not good, and I'll just set it to half. Oh, bear, bear, bear in mind, if, you, if you're working on third or quarter, okay, well some, sometimes it does that for me, I've put it in third or quarter resolution and it does not show at all, it's literally that. But I'll work in half, just to show you guys. Uh, you want to come to generate. Generate uh, effect generate stroke right here. You want to set all masks, check off stroke, sequence. See, uh, I'm not even going to bother attempting that word. I set the brush size to one, the brush hardness to 100%, and then the end to naught, space into I think it's 100%, and then this is the reveal over image. Okay, now I've done something wrong here. Maybe the end or the start, which you need to have it on space and naught. Yeah. Naught. I, I I've I've only used this once, and I'm I don't actually know how to use it. All I know is maybe I have to use it in full resolution to see it. Space in naught. I'm pretty sure it's at naught for space. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, naught, naught spacing. That's what I mean. Like half it wouldn't show it. Um, but here we go. We've got our, our sort of lines around the edge. So that's start 100%, end 0%, spacing 0%, and then it's revolve over image. And to get the sort of effect where it's that like starts moving and then sort of fades out. What you want to do is you want to start at 0% and then you just want to hit the keyframe button move forward to where you want it to stop well, where you want it all to be fully sort of in and then set that to 100% and then say I want to move, start to fade out here you just want to click end at 0% and then finish the complexion here at this point so if I just select you and see all the keyframes so it starts to come in here and then starts to fade out and if I just preview it and show you what I mean actually I much want to edit first you can like adjust the brush size and that to what you want I might change it to two it looks too thin that looks good too I'll just leave it at that just show you what to do and then just preview that. Bear in mind I've got a pretty crap computer to be honest. Um, so stuff like this when I'm editing just takes forever. 
and it just editing takes time but I might be getting a new computer soon so all this will be a lot quicker but as you can see all the lines are sort of moving and then you'll see them moving out as well so if you see this one that was coming around here that'll be going soon in the same direction <sighs> I think it does anyway so it's, it's only half. It's on full render, but still, it's pretty shocking computer. <sighs> Can't wait to get this new computer. I swear to God, this is just annoying. All right, as you can see here, these lines are starting to go now, which is start is the start of the end keyframing. So. That's all worked out good. Come on, come on, come on. If, it, if I was putting this in an episode or something, it would take twice as long to render because I would have already had loads of crap in, in this composition, clips, music any other effects I've added it would just be too much and sometimes my After Effects crashes or it just comes up with some stupid RAM preview message I think I need to get more RAM to be honest <laughs> alright here we go it's nearly done and there you go it tracks all the movements and the lines sort of go around it which looks pretty cool so there it is, auto trace. It's pretty easy to draw, nothing much to it. Just remember, you just go back through settings. You can adjust the settings when you, if you want, but they're the ones I use. It looks pretty nice, I think, in my opinion. But anyway, there's still loads more to come. But, um, I've just, it's, I think it's the first After Effects tutorial on my channel, and there'll be loads more. I might even do like montage episodes, like how to edit montages and shit. Um, if you think that's a good idea, just like comment down in the comments section say yeah do them if you want to see them if not then I won't bother but I might do them anyway <laughs> right well thanks for watching guys please sub like comment favorite and I'll see you guys next time peace out